I look like a potato. Um, but I'm in Shaver Lake on a birthday weekend getaway. I look so tired. I am so tired. And my plans are to read. See behind me, there's just trees. Shaver Lake and I'm reading a book so I figured I'd do a little reading vlog. Um, I'm about to start They by Kay Dick. It's teeny tiny. I feel like I'll finish it today at some point so I will keep you updated on my progress. Um, I'm in I'm in the woods. It's very nice outside. I'm very very chilly and snowy. I see more snow through here. last night. I wanted to update in the middle of the reading process, but I find it still awkward to update you in front of my boyfriend. I'm not used to vlogging vlogging publicly yet. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I'm a little scraggly. I finished this last night. I loved it. I thought it was so interesting. It was so ominous. The narrator, essentially in each chapter, I don't even know if it's the same narrator necessarily, but the narrator is kind of an unnamed, ungendered person, and they are visiting with friends, and in the background there is something happening. There's this group of people referred to just as they, and they are stealing art, they are stealing books, they are taking people away who don't listen to the rules, and it's very ominous and unexplained. You feel very confused for pretty much the entire book, but that's part of what's so really truly unnerving. There's also a really good afterword in this um, where you kind of learn more about the author, and I thought it was just very interesting. She was bisexual, she wrote books that were very different from this, and then all of a sudden after kind of having some tragedies happen in her life, she produced this novel, and I really really enjoyed it. Um, I enjoyed it more than I expected. So, this was my first McNally edition I've read and I'm really excited to see what other gems they kind of pull out of the past. So yeah, They by Kay Dick. Next, I am reading Paradise Rot by Jenny Ball. It's another tiny book and it has very big font. So, looking forward to that one. That's, uh, this is my Sunny's unreliable narrator hat. It looked like a sad dead potato. This is where I am this morning. It's very beautiful outside. There's like an abandoned building back here. So yeah, I will update you on Paradise Rock. Hopefully sometime today. I need to get over my embarrassment with talking in front of people.
so far very how would I describe this interesting kind of icky and uncomfortable um, the character has just moved into an apartment which is actually just a factory with some weird plasterboard walls and there's a lot of stuff about rotting and decay which I mean makes sense paradise rot but kind of icky and uh, the main character's name is Jo. She is a college student. She just found this apartment with Carol, I think you would say her name is. And she's kind of getting used to living in this factory with all these weird sounds. And it sounds like she can hear things just softly decaying throughout the entire factory. And the descriptions are very lush. There's a lot of descriptions of pee in this book so far. Um, the character seems to be very fascinated by listening to other people pee, which is interesting. So, quick update, I'm about, let's see, 42 pages in, it's 150-ish pages long, so just a little novella. The words are very big, you can kind of see they're kind of large in there, so it shouldn't take me that long. Um, yeah, that's my update. Shaver Lake and we're going home today. I didn't finish Paradise Rot last night. I got a little further in and then I was too 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 tired. Um, but yesterday was fun. We spent a lot of time with my boyfriend's mom who lives up here and we had a good day. So time to go home. Um, I wanted to go to the book barn in Fresno on the way home but it's closed on Sundays. So of course I will not be going there. <clears throat> I feel like I'm getting a little cold, which is wonderful. But yeah, that's my last update. I'll probably update if I finish reading Paradise Rock tonight, which I very well could. So I will keep you updated. Hopefully there's enough in this for an actual vlog because I don't feel like I filmed enough. Paradise Rot. It is now Tuesday and when I got home on Sunday I just became a potato person. I watched Shadow and Bone season 2, finished it on Monday. Still didn't read anything on Monday and again just watched more TV so I think I was just exhausted and this isn't much of a reading vlog. I don't feel like I did much reading but I hope you enjoy it. My next reading vlog will hopefully be more successful, but you know, I did get a lot of very nice footage of the mountains. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe. Let me know if you have any thoughts on Paradise Rot. Still, as I'm reading it, a lot of descriptions of pee. I, pee and fungus. Jim. I just got home from work and he missed me very much. Anyways, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, a lot of descriptions of pea and fungus. So, a really nicely written, strange subject matter. Jimmy, it's your time to shine. I really enjoyed They by K. Dick. I enjoyed it a lot more than I expected to, so that really makes me excited to read more of my McNally editions. But yeah, that's the vlog. That's it. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. Have a good rest of your week. Bye.